Um, I'm Rob Hines and welcome to another Freebie Friday. Now what I want to share with you this week is a concept what so many people do have a lot of challenges with, a lot of people struggle with it, and it's the habit of saving, the habit of saving money. If you, if you don't master the habit of saving money, you're never going to be able to take yourself towards financial freedom. So mastering the habit of saving money should be something that you, in, you start doing while you're young, but sometimes you may not have the people around you to actually start to instill that habit into you or even show you how to actually start to save money. So I'm just going to go over a couple of, couple of ideas. Um, there will be a download to go with this, which is just going to be like an expenses sheet. Um, and please do use that to be able to start to get your finances in order. Now, there's two books that, are, that really, really help me to build a habit of saving. One of them is The Richest Man in Babylon by a guy by the name of George S. Clayson. This is a fantastic book because it goes over some really great concepts. But in this book, he goes over a concept which is called Pay Yourself First. Now, I've done a freebie Friday about that concept, and this is where you are actually paying yourself first. So any money that you do have, any income that you, you do get, you're actually going to start to pay yourself first. So instead of paying the mortgage first or paying your rent first or your car payments, you actually take 10% off the top of anything that you earn, whether that be salary, whether that be bonuses, whether that be commission, and you put 10% into an account that you're never going to touch. And if you can do that continually, you will start to really start to instill that habit of saving. There's another fantastic book by someone who you probably all know, Dr. Napoleon Hill, and his book, The Law of Success. Chapter four is the habit of saving. Now, this is a great chapter. Read it, read it once, read it twice, read it three times, read it as many times as you can, just keep reading it. There's going to be some really valuable information there that helps you to understand why the habit of saving is so important and then how to start to habitualize that. Now, there's this really simple exercise that you can do. If you, everybody should be able to save at least three pounds a day. If you just get a small jar, put it at the side of your bed, put it on your, your dressing table, put it on your office desk. But if you can, every morning or every evening, every, every night time, put three pounds a day into that jar. That means you're going to be saving 21 pounds a week. That's going to be 84 pounds a month. Now, if you can continually save 80 pounds a month for a year, you're going to end up with 960 pounds, almost a thousand pounds each year. And if you can then continue with that, put that into either a high interest account or an index linked account, some type of account where it's going to reward you for doing small, consistent incremental payments, then you're then going to start to see how that £1,000 a year can really start to add up. If you can save more, then that's great. But if you can't, everybody can save £3 a day. If you think about the things that you do spend on a daily basis, there probably is £3 that you waste every day. The next thing, start looking at your monthly expenditure. A lot of people spend money that they don't even realize that they spend. They may, spend, they may eat out for lunch every day. They may have um, direct debits, which they haven't checked through. So there's going to be money which is going to be wasted somewhere. And then what you need to do is to start really being quite stringent, starting to look what it is, where your money goes. Start looking at your direct debits. You'll probably find that you've got direct debits that are coming out of your account for things that you don't even use anymore maybe subscriptions to magazines, it might be whatever it is, you know, maybe you can get a cheaper gym membership, try to negotiate with the things that you do have. You don't always have to have the newest phone, you don't always have to have the newest pair of trainers, you don't always have to have the, you don't have to be driving the newest car. So the money that you can put away now, you are definitely going to benefit from it afterwards. You're going to benefit from it, maybe not now, but over the next year, over the next five years, over the next 10 years. You've really got to have a long-term view of this. The next thing that you want to really start doing is really start to become a lot more disciplined with, with what you're actually doing with your expenditure. So if you find that you're going to the cinema twice a week, maybe go to the cinema once a week. If you find that you are eating out, just try considering making lunch a couple of days. Or if you're going to a restaurant twice a week, just try going once a week. And that money that you're not using, then again, put that into a jar, put that into a saving pot, but put it into somewhere that you're not going to touch. This is not going to be a savings that you're going to break into every six months. You're actually going to start to invest this money. Start to educate yourself about financial uh, awareness. I know a lot of people didn't get it covered in school. I know I certainly didn't. 
but there's nothing meaning that you can't start that now. Always remember there's three levels of creation. There's a spiritual level, there's your intellectual level, and there's a physical level. An idea has to be accepted on all of these three different levels. So once you decide that you want to increase your finances by doing the habit of saving, you've already got it on the spiritual level because you've actually started to think about it. Then you want to start to intellectualize it. So you're then going to start to expose yourself to different material, which is going to help you to be able to build that habit of saving. I've just told you about two great books. So then you really then start to intellectualize it and you start to put together a plan. The third part is the physical part. That's the physical level. And that's where you have to then do the action. If you think it's going to be difficult for you to do it and keep it consistent, then maybe do it with somebody. Get a partner. Get somebody who wants to be able to save money as well. And you can phone each other at the end of each day, at the end of each week and say, OK, how much did you put away? Did you put your £3 away a day? Have you got your £21 at the end of each week? Have you got your £84 at the end of each month? Do it with someone if you feel that you can't get the discipline or the commitment to do on your own yet. That will definitely come as you start to do this. And as you start to do this, and as you start to save that money, you're going to then start to realise that you then start to look for different ways to be able to save money. That's when you're really then starting to internalise that habit, and you'll then start to, the more money that you put away, is the easier that it will become to put money away. Try to internalise that habit now. It's called the habit of saving. Get the books, talk to the people who are doing something similar, and then you will then start to really start to take that idea on board. It's a fantastic idea. And like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, attach a PDF, which is like an expenses sheet. And it's just going to give you some ideas of some of the things that you, you possibly spend in your money on each month that you may not account for and different ways of being able to save that. Well, I hope you got some value out of this. Do start to internalize that habit of saving. You will start to see how important it is. Instill it into your children, instill it into any young person that you know, instill it into your friends. Once you can do that, you're then going to start to see how powerful it is. Because if you want to go towards financial freedom, you're going to have to learn the habit of saving. Okay, I'm Rob Hines. Fantastic Freebie Friday. And I'm going to see you again next week. Three things I need to say to you. Keep reading, keep studying, and keep learning.